To get things started tonight, I wanted to catch up with her because she puts a lot of effort and a lot of work into it each and every year. Maria Hess, the senior editor at Delaware Today. How Hello. I'm doing great. And this, you've got to be doing great because the people are just, I mean, every bit of what you expected and more. Well, you know, it's every year it surprises us. It's more and more fun. We've got music, three different bands playing. People are having fun. They're eating. They're drinking. And, you know, as, as you may have heard, as you hear every year, it, it all benefits uh, charity. Yeah, when it comes down to it, I mean, and the great causes, a lot of people support. But, you you know, there again, and, and the people like being recognized as the best in Delaware. And this year, a little bit different. You had, I was reading the articles in, in the Delaware Today. You guys had some judges involved this year. Judge, it wasn't just the people. Yes, and next year we've got to get you involved in this, Tim, because we had our local luminaries act as critics, some people that ran arts organizations and businesses, lawyers, everybody, and they picked the best of the best, and it turned out that their opinions sort of meshed with our opinions, and it all worked out. It's great. I'm telling you what a great event and everything. Maria, I know you're busy and all that, but I, you know it's important to give the, 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 the charities once again, because as we talk about each and every year, this is the, none, it doesn't rep, you guys throw the party, but the money goes to charities. Absolutely. In addition to the children's charities uh, that, that we sponsor, we've sponsored three years now, we're also, there are grant recipients for the Grand and Light Up the Queen, so we're really happy about that as yeah, well. Yeah, and of course, then the new museum coming in, you guys are helping raise the money for that. And the Delaware Children's Museum, everybody's happy about that. Sorry to see, you know, the big kahuna go, but we're happy that they turn it into a good cause, anyway. I hope they keep the volcano. Well, I, I think they should. That's not a bad idea. And, you know, now every, all the kids used to say, I can't wait to get into the kahunas. Well, guess what? You're going to be able to get in there real early. Exactly. Yeah. Let's hope. Yeah, now, <laughs> good, a good article in, in, in this past year. Issues. Anything exciting coming up that we can kind of leak out there? Yeah, we're looking at a big dining guide, all the great places to eat outdoors. And then coming up in October, uh, we've got Top Doctors. But in September, even before that, we've got the Big Arts Preview. Yeah, so you got a lot of things. You would definitely want to pick up your Delaware today on newsstands. We better not get it home delivered. I mean, it's probably the best. Well, I know it is the best of Delaware as far as magazines go. We hope so. We try. Maria, thank you so much. Nice to see you, Tim. Take care. Bye. Here we are in the middle of the best of Delaware. The party's taking place, and you know, anytime there's uh, something going on, it's important that we see the best. Uh, there he is right here. Chris, how are you? I'm great, Tim. How are you? Yeah, and when you're talking about it, uh, you know, with the county out there, this is a big thing for you guys as well. Yeah, the Best of Delaware party is something that uh, a lot of us like to come to who are involved in local government uh, because you see the best of all of our companies, our restaurants. Uh, it's also just a fun event. It's a great opportunity to connect with people uh, and to bring out the best of what Delaware is all about. Well, I saw you mingling around because, you know, when you think about, you know, the county executive, you have to deal with the small business people quite Quite a bit, especially in today's time. And I see you going from table to table, just mingling with the owners and you know, and, and finding out what their concerns are at this point. That's right, Tim. I earlier was talking to a number of small businesses that I've met through the county chamber or committee of 100, and asking them questions about how they're doing with permitting, how they're doing with growth. Uh, we'd like to do everything we can to encourage steady job growth in Newcastle County. That's the only way we're going to get out of this current crisis. And frankly, it's great to have an evening where all of us can come together and have a positive night out. Yeah, and that's what we're having. I'm going to let you go. I know you're busy, so I appreciate your time, buddy. Great seeing you, Tim. Thank you very much. Hope you have fun tonight. All right, now, anytime you go to a party, it's always nice that the host is out there to greet you right up front. Rob Martinelli of Delaware Today, how are you, my friend? I'm doing good. Thanks for coming. You've you got to be excited because uh, this thing's been going on. How many years is this now? This is 21. Yeah, and every, every year it seems to just get bigger and better. It does, and we're happy to be back in Wilmington at the Chase Center. It's a beautiful facility. And uh, how many vendors do we have out there? I, I, I've, I've tried to walk them and talk to all of them and everything else. It's loaded out. But I, I tell everybody every year, best party in town by far is Delaware Today's Best of Delaware. And after 20, that's why you've got it down. In 21 years, you've got it down pretty hard. Right. There's over 100 vendors here tonight. 60 of them are restaurants. There's a lot of great food, a lot of great entertainment. Yeah, because they're da time. dancing going on and all that. I saw that. But let's talk about the magazine a little bit because it's, you know, I always tell people that's our state magazine. It's very well recognized throughout the entire state. Delaware today, doing really well. It's doing good, and we, you know, we try to cover the people, the places, the things that are happening here. And people love it, and 
And it's great that we can give a little bit back to the community with an event like this because this is a really a fundraiser for some, some very worthy charities in, in Delaware. Yeah, I know the Big Brothers Big Sisters is one of the charities there, but you've got quite a few charities on board. And that's that's where the proceeds go. I wanted people to know. I mean, the Delaware Today stands on its own. This is a, 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 the whole benefit, really. It is. And we, we're, we're very thankful to have a lot of vendors that support this and the sponsors and all that. But it's Big Brothers Big Sisters, Delaware Guidance, and the Children's Museum, which is going to open right down the block here in about three or four months. Yeah, I'm excited. Everybody's excited about that and everything. So it's all, I know you're busy. I just wanted people to see the face that puts on a party every year right here. And I, I, last year down in Dover, this year back up here, are you going to kind of try, keep changing back and forth? or what's That's it? the thing. We feel we have to be in different parts of the state, so we'll move the party back and forth. Yeah, what well, a great, great concept. Uh, I'm telling you, you def definitely don't want to miss it next year. Always about the same time, right, Rob? It is. We're usually the third or fourth Thursday in July. Yeah, so it's always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you for your time. Yeah, Thanks for helping us out.